Well, good morning. It's Thursday and welcome to our daily prayers. As I'm recording it, it's starting to rain yet again. Um, just outside my study, I've got a little sort of hang to conservatory and you can hear the rain drumming on the roof. It's for some reason, it's very reassuring, actually. It's a nice sound. Let's come before God together now. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you now and forever. Amen. We're carrying on with Abraham's life. We're now in Genesis 18 at verse 20. This is a very curious episode where Abraham becomes aware of the sin of one of the, well, two of the local towns, Sodom and Gomorrah. And he has a quite intriguing conversation with God. Then the Lord said, the outcry against Sodom and Gomorrah is so great and their sin so grievous that I will go down and see if what they have done is as bad as the outcry that has reached me. If not, I will know. The men turned away and went towards Sodom, but Abraham remained standing before the Lord. Then Abraham approached him and said, will you sweep the righteous away with the wicked? What if there are 50 righteous people in the city? Will you really sweep it away? and not spare the place for the sake of the fifty righteous people in it? Far be it from you to do such a thing, to kill the righteous with the wicked, treating the righteous and the wicked alike. Far be it from you. Will not the judge of all the earth do right? The Lord said, If I find fifty righteous people in the city of Sodom, I will spare the whole place for their sake. Then Abraham spoke up again, I love this bit, now that I've been so bold as to speak to the Lord, though I am nothing but dust and ashes, what if the number of the people is five less than fifty? Will you destroy the whole place for the lack of five people? If I find forty-five there, God said, I will not destroy it. Well, think about the judgment against Sodom and Gomorrah um, the next couple of days. But for the moment, I just want us to think about what prayer is. Um, because Abraham is actually effectively, it looks like he's almost arguing with God. He's being really um, assertive with God. And perhaps it's a way of prayer which we from time to time need to do, almost to wrestle with God in our prayers when we feel something's not right. And the conversation is a really intriguing one as he's, as it were, bargaining God down. Um, now, Abraham is coming to an understanding, supposing there are no righteous people in Sodom and Gomorrah. And so part of prayer is our realising what is on God's mind and the conversation goes backwards and forwards. Perhaps for today, I just want to say, are you courageous in the way that you pray? Even on occasion wrestling with God about something that you feel is wrong. Because if you do, you may become richer for your conversation with God and get to know his mind better. Space for our prayers now. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. 
and so may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and for evermore. Amen. <laughs>